It's just the wind. A little bit breezy today. All right, uh, I'm just gonna clomp around in the forest a little bit. And I don't see a whole hell of a lot of stuff. Okay. Okay. There's the holes. Ah, uh, uh, doot, 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 doot. Ah, yes. Delightful. Once alive, but now twisted round. It used to be... It is used by Mordhell and men to punish their own kind. Roses. No, you like to think your shit don't stink. But lean a little bit closer, see. Roses really smell like poo poo poo. Oh. Actually, <laughs> is that that's easy? That's ridiculous. That was a facile puzzle. Yeah, I was quite. Nope. Can I combine these two? Crying out loud. Nope. 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 Get out. What does this even do? I really don't think that that's that useful. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that. Okay. Well, okay, wait, where am I now? I think I backtracked there. I went off to check that thing and then I got all discombobulated. Um, yeah, we need to head back to the path here. It's a little bit windy and I have a window open upstairs and then I've got this fake window that it's kind of weird it, it, uh, it faces out from my bedroom into the stairwell it's not really a window it, there's nothing it lets in a little bit of light but it's just a wooden uh, kind of door thing it's really hard to explain it doesn't make a whole lot of sense but it's upstairs and I'm downstairs now all you creepy stalkers Oh dear. Speaking of creepy stalkers. Hmm. Yeah, I think that that's wise here. Oh, did Owen take damage there? Yeah, he's poisoned. We have to lose a turn, but... Damn it. I'm going to cast Fetters of Rhyme on you too, good sir. His accuracy is just amazing now. That's really, really helpful. There we go. Actually, possibly going to cast that again now. We'll give him another, another turn here to rest. Actually, I think we've got this in hand with Gorath. Yep. Well, that wasn't so bad. Got a little bit nervous, but again, not altogether that terrible. Let's see. What is this? Oh. Take that. Take that. We'll take that. Already the uh, blessing is pretty much paid for. I did while I was uh, investigating the, uh, the commotion. I did actually save the game. Cleaned out some of my old saves. We're actually still healing, so I might camp. Apparently there's a big city nearby. 
which I would like to pay a visit to. I don't know if that's necessarily a good idea, considering that uh, Owen is a straw-haired little kingdom boy, but might be worth our while. Let's actually check over here. Seems like the kind of place that something would be hidden. Or not. I could just be dead ass wrong about that. Yeah, this looks like it will take us to Armengar. Not to be confused with Arm and Hammer. Is this really. It's just a stump. Okay. <laughs> what an amazing town. It's got some gold in it. The golden stump. Okie dokie. Moving on. I, I'm wondering about that, ooh, that flame root oil, because I'm thinking that it's something that's like situationally useful, but generally not. <laughs> so I don't feel too bad about dropping that off. seems like a shame to drop that stuff because it's worth money. And I like money. There's a tent. It's a wonderful little place to go camping. But it's abandoned. And there's another one. Tents were perfectly positioned for an army marching south from Sar Sargoth towards the garrison at High Castle. Gorath pulled back the flap and took a look inside the tent. Owen, I'll stand watch out here. You go inside and take a look around. <laughs> <laughs> Owen did as instructed. He let his eyes adjust to the murky light inside the tent, then began a careful search. A couple of very mediocre swords. Okay. Fascinating. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to have to get into a fight here. Fight, fight, fight. Oh, hi. Go back up. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to have a few swigs. I don't know what this actually does either. I, this is another one that I might just get rid of. Fatimore's formula. Let's take a drink. Oh, he's, he's all tweaked out. It's meth. Okay. Spellcasting and have one of those. Is that the same as this? No. We'll have one of those. And one of those. Oh. Excellent. Okay, let's, let's do this. Sneaky, sneaky! Aru! Arutha! Oh! Evil Seek. Do it. Let's go balls out here. Yowza. Daddy like. <clears throat> yeah, you chickens. You sons of bitches. Uh. to use Fetters of Rhyme here. Oh my dear lord. I think we'll get him. Wow. Let's kill this guy to keep him from running away. Although, ah, yeah, see, that's what I thought would happen. Um, take a break. One of them's gonna get away, but that's really... It's not the end of the world. Nice. Good shot, sir! Cool. That was, that was kind of fun. I like taking drugs. It makes living so much easier.
Is Gorath eating more than Owen? Is that how that's working? <laughs> He's a growing boy. Oh, fabulous. Oh. Damn. That's not what I wanted. We have extra rations, but we'll we'll burn through those pretty quick. Those are spoiled. Might be worth camping again. Sleep until late afternoon. Sounds like a plan. I think we must be getting close now. Let's let's just double check. Yes, we're very close. Very close to Armengar. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. We're going to Armengar. I can't wait to go to Armengar. Oh my god, berries. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Yes, please. Are there more? Purple berries. Very, very good. Delicious. Oh, man, there's a ton of them. Dude. Dude, like, whoa. These are actual restoratives. That is fantastic. I'm so happy I could just about be twins. What's this? Dead people. I see dead people. And their fancy hats. You know, why not give Grath some extra rations? I'm immediately cluttering up my inventory again, although I do feel comfortable throwing out rations more so than uh, the other stuff. So I know that rations are pretty easy to come by. I doubt that there's going to be a situation where we're going to really be short on them, but... Dude, this is great. What a wonderful gift. Okay, so we're about to reach Armengar. The air smelled awful. <laughs> Not sure he wanted to go any further. Gorath followed the path before them with his eyes, but a strange mist obscured his vision. No telling what might be waiting for us up ahead. Think we should go take a look? No, I'm going to save the game first. Right, let's let's scope this out. Oh, that looks friendly. A funeral pall hung over the broken stone walls of Armengar as thick, oily smoke rose from dark cracks in the ground. Scavengers thrived in the ruins, living on the artifacts they found like mushrooms supping on the decayed bones of some old dead thing. Slowly the Mordel would reclaim their city and restore its ancient name. Sar is Bandia. So this must have been a former kingdom fortification, I guess. There's a few little secrets here and there. Just hovering over. Let's go to the shop first. Silverthorn Antivenom is somewhat tempting, but... Nah. <laughs> Just thought I'd ask. Have a horse. Yeah, I'll give you this. I don't... Oh, you... You little so-and-so. Uh... Fine. Hate your guts. Let's go to the tavern. It's party time! Woo! Lovely. Some fellows over there. Gorath motioned to the figure across the room. The man walked over to join them. He stood before them, eyebrows arched inquisitively. What a fancy lad he is! Look at his little collar! His giant lapel! <laughs> My god! Ermelin, drink what you can, for Delicon will have the rivers running piss and chickens laying dust for us once this is at an end. <laughs> A delicious word salad served by Ermelin. Let me try that again. Drink what you can, for Delicon will have the rivers running piss and chickens laying dust for us once this is at an end. There you go. <laughs> that's, I think that's the read right there. 
There is nothing to be gained in this campaign. But the sparks in his eyes have blinded him. He's blinded by the light. He's wrapped up like a douche. Damn the six. Damn those magicians that lead us to death and imprison us all. I see that you have little wish to keep your head attached to your shoulders, Ermelin. Your tongue wags and you drool your brains onto the table for all to see. Your drink makes you a fool. What the drink makes me is, of, is only of concern to me and the tavern keeper. Leave me be, Yellowtail. Is that a type of deer? I suggest you consider advice from one who has suffered Delicon's wrath and lived to tell the tale. I take it that some acquaintances of yours have been detained by Delicon's magicians? What of it? Nothing's to be done. The six have thrown Obkar the Ventrier... Ventrier... I get in a little bit too much of a hurry reading these things. The six have thrown Obkar to Ventrier and his dogs. And tomorrow, they'll come round and hurry the lot of us to our deaths. I propose we help one another rather than work against. What could you offer me in exchange for Obkar's release from the naphtha mines? Who the fuck? Okay. If you can manage that, I'll get you half of the boy's weight in gold or the equivalent thereof. Obkar's tribe alone would, would willing pay such a ransom, okay? Then get your then get you hence and gather those fees, and we will see what may be engineered. This is all very obtuse language. Oh I didn't realize Gorath has a fancy lapel. I guess it's part of his cape. We will meet you again in this tavern when we have achieved Obkar's release. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go find Obkar. Whatever the hell that is. I think one of the things that makes this uh, this area particularly tricky is that we can't really uh, we can't really go to inns apparently. We can go to the inn, but we can't stay. I figured I'd just try that. The Giant's Broth. <laughs> That's a I don't like that name at all. Let me just say that. So the Naphtha Mines. I wonder if that's what's over here. Yeah, Gorath investigated. Oh yeah, because there's a bunch of smoke. That would be what that is. Peering into the smoke-filled hole, he was unable to see anything, although he was for certain or he was certain he smelled something like the burning of oil. For a long moment he stared into the darkness before returning to his companion. The fires still burn underground here, he said to Owen. Ten years ago passed when this fortress was attacked by Mermandamus, the man who held this ancient Mordel city set it ablaze, rather than see the Mordel take it again. Do you hate him for it? Owen asked, seeing Gorath's pained expression. The Morath shook... The Morath? Gorath the Morath the Mordhell. Uh, what the hell is happening? The Mordhell shook his head. No, as much as we should have... Or as much we should have done when Delicon first raided in our villages. Okay, we're in the Naphtha Caverns. Gorath coughed, turning his head like a, a third amigo of some kind. Various little knickknacks. Nearly passing out from the intense fumes within the cavern, he was only able to take a few steps inside before the light was completely obscured by oily smoke. Still, there seemed to be a small hole dug in the wall of the cavern just next to the entrance, which he thought he could just reach. Curiosity won him over. Pushing rubble out of the way, Gorath groped in the hole, hoping that someone might have left something valuable behind. Naphtha, Gorath coughed, feeling the sticky black substance adhering to his fingers as he grabbed it. Greasy bottleneck. Feeling that the fumes were beginning to get to him, he stumbled away from the hole. We got some naphtha, apparently. Gorath squinted. Between the poor natural lighting and the fact that his eyes had not completely adjusted to the darkness, he was uncertain what might or might not have been inside. What do you know, naphtha? I don't really see that we have much use for this, honestly. that to you. Excellent. There's more naphtha. So there's supposedly someone stuck in the caverns, uh, Obkar. I'm not seeing any real way of getting him. Uh, Hovering my mouse over, trying to figure out if there's anywhere that I can click that is helpful. Ooh. 
Let's get out of here. Okay, um... Groth is sick. <laughs> he is one sick puppy. Uh, can we camp for a little bit? He's not sick anymore. That was interesting, I guess. Let's go back into town. I want to talk to, uh... This dude. What word of Obkar? As yet, we have not penetrated the defenses of the six. Oh! Don't worry about your friend, Ermelin. He will be free. Then you go about your business, Yellowtail, and I will be about mine. I will return. Okay. I thought that he was in there. Maybe I misread. I probably did, to be honest. So, let's see. Um, we're actually near... I think the end of this chapter. So, let's let's keep plugging away. I don't actually need any more restoratives. Although, it seems like a foolish thing to say. We can... You know, it's honestly probably better, though, that I have restoratives over some of this stuff. I'm gonna drop this. I kinda don't think I need this anymore. This is the Abbot's Journal. Yeah. I mean, this information might be useful to us later, but honestly, I'm gonna... If I need it again... I'm going to keep it. I, I can't bear to part with it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm a hoarder, I guess. I just worry that some of these things are quest items, and I won't be able to do things later in the game. It might be worth you guys spoiling that for me. Kesha Marn. Mother lover soldier. Dig it. Nobody here. Oh, it's a graveyard. Oh, I hate graveyards. Oh, my gosh. I'm gonna save and check these out. 